All right, I wanted to talk about parallel processing. Um, I get a lot of people, they'll watch videos for days about doing different types of parallel processing, sometimes get real confused by it, about what exactly that's doing. Um, I'm going to try to make this concept as simple as possible. Um, as with most things, the more complex type of processing you do, the more complex it gets. And that can have effects in all kinds of different aspects of the sound um, that you're working with. And especially when you start parallel processing, um, because you're basically, you're trying to process things. You're trying to take one sound and process it a bunch of different ways and then try to combine that. And basically the concept is the same thing as a mix. I mean, it, it's that's a far-reaching um connection but basically it's the same kind of concept is that you have a sound that you're trying to sculpt a certain way or do certain things with then you want to sculpt it a different way and then you want to sculpt it a different way and you want to sculpt it a different way I'm, i don't know how many different ways you know i've seen some some parallel processing chains that were ridiculous and i'd be watching this guy and he's got like 10 different you know parallel processors on there to do something and I'm like oh my god you know and you know sometimes it can do some real cool stuff and sometimes you can just get lost in it you know I've got this parallel 50 times you know I mean it's like oh dude oh I don't know you know but sometimes you know you'll find that sometimes there's times where a lot of parallel processing can really help and so but the basic concept of it is real simple is that to try to give you a basic concept so you don't get confused by this so that you can understand and utilize the basic concept sometimes it can get real complex and you can do some really cool things and sometimes it can get complex and you start trying to do parallel processing and your shit just gets lost i mean you basically have processed the living shit out of something um to where it's really you know every time you processed it here's an example you processed it with this delay over here and then you've cut that off, and then you went over here and processed it with the same delay, but a little bit differently. Then you've cut that off, and you come over here and you process it with this different kind of delay a little differently. And then you come over here and process it a little bit differently with this other delay. And then you're going to try to connect them all together, <laughs> you know. Well, basically, every time you do parallel processing, that you've got another, the same waveform, the initial waveform, the original waveform, that you're changing that complex waveform in some way. And then when you start trying to sum them together, you're creating a whole new complex waveform. Um, and I know that that can be very complex, but the simple understanding of it is you are altering that waveform in sometimes drastic ways. And sometimes when you do parallel processing, even just two, you know, that you're trying to combine, combine two different waveforms now and, and then combine them into a sum which means you're going to come out with something different. So the understanding of when you're doing parallel processing is to understand that basically you've got a complex waveform coming into this. You're going to have a different waveform coming out of that or different processing on. Sometimes it'll vary the waveform differently and sometimes not much at all, um, depending on the type of processing or effect you're using. And then you're doing it, you're going to cut that off and go over here do the same thing with that same original waveform, process that and change the waveform in some way, and then that's going to come out. Well, the issue you're coming to is that when they come out together, that those two processes are going to come together to create a whole new waveform that's a combination of them both. Does that make sense? It's just like the same concept of you spent hours trying to make this cool blue color and then you set that off to the side, and then you went over to this other side, this other palette, and you spent hours trying to create this other blue color, right? You know, because you're basically working with color blue anytime you're doing this, most of the time, unless you're working with a whole mix, and you're doing parallel processing for some processes in a whole mix, which can get really complex, and be real careful not to just ruin your mix with a bunch of parallel processing going into your end of your mix, and you can have just a mess. But the understanding, now you've got two different colors of blue, and you spent hours, you know, and you really spent time trying to sculpt those, you know, different processes of blue, and now you've mixed them together, and you've got a whole new blue. <laughs> well, what is that, right? So then, you you know, well, that ain't quite right, or it is cool, but not quite right. So then you have to go back to those two blues that you were working on, 
and adjust them, you know, remix them and re and do them on the palette until they can be complementary with that whole new third blue that you're working on. That's the basic concept when you're doing parallel processing. And to understand that, so when you are you start out working with this one and you've made that waveform, you got that real cool delay, then you come over here and then you work on that, that blue, then you come over here and you work on that blue, then you come over here and work on that blue, and the whole understanding you've got four different kinds of blue that you're hoping comes together in this really cool blue. You know what I'm saying? And that sounds very simplistic, but that's reality. Um, that whole concept can be more concept more complex than just the color blue. Um, I hope you follow that because it's um, doing a lot of things to the frequencies. Uh, but the basic concept is the same as that. And so you got to be real careful when you start mixing those blues together, what's happening. And then going back a step and having to adjust each one of these blues to be complementary to the, all the other blues that you're summing down into, you know, a finished waveform that has been parallel processed to add all those different hues of blue together to come out with this really cool blue. But that's the basic concept, and don't get confused by that when somebody starts talking about parallel processing. Now, one other thing I'll talk about is that, and it's the same thing with doing gating. You can do like gating and expansion, um, uh, uh, compression, the same kind of thing. You've, you've got this one, you, you've, you, you've isolated off this one gate, and you've done some gating work on it. You've set up the parameters where it's really cool. Then you've cut that off and you go to another gate and you want it to do it just a little bit differently. And so then you've spent time trying to color that kind of blue. Does that make sense? And I use the colors because people, it'll sink in real well what I'm trying to say so that it's simple, you know. I mean, all the complexities of what that can do can be so complex you can pull all your hair out. I mean, you can just go nuts trying to parallel possible process 50 different colors of blue trying to come out with something that sounds good. You know what I'm saying? I mean, try it. Put 50 different blues on a palette and then try to mix them up, see what happens, you know, and then go back and try to figure out what you did to that one blue or how you're going to change it so that it helps complement the other 50 blues when they come to one blue. Does that make sense? And I know that can sound crazy, but basically that's what you're doing a lot of times. Sometimes it can be real simple where you might just have two gates or two expanders that are parallel to each other. Or you've got it like this and you've got two gates running in parallel and then you are going to come over here and do some expansion that's a different type of gating, kind of. Does that make sense? And, you know, and then you're going to try to combine them. So you've got like this kind of teal blue that you're working on. This is the teal blue and this is the teal blue, but different teal blue that you're coming together. And then you've got, you know, a, a lavender kind of blue over here that you're trying to blend in. That's going to come out of this really unique blue that's really going to do whatever you want it to do for that sound. Does that make sense? Or that track or uh, that group or whatever. And that can be real complex. Just remember, get it back to the basics. You are what you're trying to do there you're trying to make those different blues into a cool new blue and how you're putting them together and letting and then go back and trying to figure out how you're going to have to change that blue so that it complements the four blues that you've already mixed and it can be a really huge tool and so cool for doing all kinds of different kinds of processing just be careful you don't just get lost in it to where you got 50 different blues and for some reason you keep mixing those 50 blues and it sounds like shit well because now you have some fucked up mucky gray that's fucking you know what i'm saying and i know that sounds like a real simplistic explanation but that helps that to sink in so that you can understand that parallel processing concept and what problems you can come with that um, another issue besides that is that sometimes parallel processing can be really cool because you you parallel prod you've got this come you're doing compression let's just take compression as a basic example um, these are dynamic kind of processors and people talk about parallel your compression and things like that a lot because you're going to start out with this compression and basically if I run this compression I've done some work on it it's this really cool blue but it's not quite what I want and I come over here to this compressor. And I make this other cool blue that's kind of um, getting what I wanted to do that this one wasn't doing, you know. But it's still the same kind of blue, but different. Does that make sense? And now I've got those two that I'm going to blend those two together. Does that make sense? And that's a, a huge concept to understand in parallel processing so that that simple concept can become a tool for you 
that doesn't become ridiculous a concept that you get stuck watching five billion videos about how you're supposed to do parallel you know processing that's the concept how you do it why you do it where you do it when you do it it's you know it's really going to depend on how much of a painter you are how much of an artist are you you know does that make sense and you know that's most of the time what parallel processing is for the other thing to keep in mind about parallel processing is sometimes this is a huge concept to understand that I ran this processor through here lightly and then I ran this processor through here lightly again and the same processor again maybe or maybe just a little bit differently that's got a little bit higher ratio of attack on it um, or the ratio of how it's compressing and sometimes running them in parallel that will act differently you can end up getting more compression and better compression because you've ran them in parallel a little bit at a time or differently rather than trying to do it all at one time with one compressor or one gate or something like that for that type of dynamic processing and that's another huge concept to understand because you'll hear a lot of people talk about parallel compression because one compressor just won't get done what they want if they just crank it the way they want it it's not doing it so they'll start paralleling and doing maybe the same type of compression but parallel to it and let it a little bit harder or a little bit softer here like this one's real light but this one's hard and then they start trying to blend them together does that make sense understand that concept and the other thing is you know that's real simple to understand and then the other thing is I've got this type of compressor and this other compressor that sounds a little bit differently the analog sound or the emulation of it or how it compresses just sounds a little differently to my ears and so I'm going to compress this one as the way I like it and then I'm going to cut that one off and I'm going to come over here and compress that one the way I like it with that compressor doing some parallel kind of type of compression and then I'm going to start trying to mix them together and how am I going to mix them and blend them at, at what volume levels until I can get the compression to sound right which is basically it's a very hard concept because basically you don't know what it's going to do when they come together and they summon form this other complex waveform that's been you know processed and compressed in two different ways what is that going to mean so be careful of that and really pay attention to that you can pull out a scope and you can pull out your spectrometer and really look at what it's doing listen to what it's doing look at what it's doing and really understand what's happening there um I just wanted to address that and I think that addresses the issue most of the time with parallel processing there are some other things you can do with parallel processing but most of the time those are the basic issues why most people parallel process for those two things you know because one compressor won't do it right if I just use that one but if I put three of them in series you know a little bit a little bit a little bit harder maybe or a little bit you know the knee a little bit different on the next one and then start trying to blend them together until I can get this sound out that's a huge concept to understand that that takes work but if you get the one sounding pretty good and then you go one step at a time and then understand well that one's a little bit rough on it you know but if I dial that one back and it blends it back in with these other two that work what do I got okay that didn't quite work if I blend it up a little bit what do I got and then I come down okay I'm gonna adjust that knee on that one a little bit because it's still a little rough and I'm hearing something when I when I click that one on what's it doing to that all right I gotta go back and mess with it that's the concept a lot of times that people will have issues with because they just be lost and people will how do I do it just tell me how I do it how do you do it and I don't even want to know does that make sense and that's what you don't want to do you want to know what that's happening and there's sometimes that they will come up with really cool you know parallel chains with different processors and you go that's badass dude and then you get it and you got the plug-in and you hook it up and it's just so cool dude that process didn't work great and you might adjust it a little bit for your taste but it just worked good but sometimes it won't sometimes you'll get it and you'll think that sounds good and I know that guy's badass I listen to his records or I've watched him and it comes out sounding like shit and you put it on your stuff and it doesn't sound quite the same and you're messing with it and you're like well that what else did he do to make it sound like that and you know then you have to really analyze what's happening there what's it's better to understand what it's doing and why you're parallel processing than just trying to stamp copy what the hell the other guy's doing so I just want to address that really simply and really just directly as far as why that why you want to do that and what is the point of doing that and the simplicity of doing it because if you just start out with two compressors or something 
and work from there. And the same thing with the blues. You can really do some cool stuff. Peace, hope, love, hope, and help.